What's going on you guys, this is MXKD, I have another HP Compact 8200, this is the Elite uh, Convertible MIDI Tower. Going to be a process of upgrade, show you how to do that. So first you're going to do is remove the side cover panel. And you will need uh, either flat head screwdriver, you can use... Or you can use a Torx T15 screwdriver. We have to remove the two screws here in the top, two in the bottom to remove the heatsink cooling fan for the processor. And you're gonna disconnect the CPU fan right here and the, where the motherboard connector, it's a four pin connector, you have to remove that. So first you're gonna do is you're gonna take a paper towel, like clean paper towel and wipe down the thermal compound off the uh, processor before you remove it. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, what you're going to do is you're going to move the old thermal compound off the heat sink. To do that you're going to do the same and you're going to wipe it down with the clean paper towel. And I'm going to take uh, rubbing alcohol, 70%, uh, and you're going to you're going to take a clean paper towel again, like this. Yeah, if you're going to get a 50%, it's kind of not good enough, but 70% will work perfectly. You just go go. They sell in any grocery store you can get them, or any hardware store. And you just go like this, put a napkin and just wipe it down. So that's good enough. Now what you're gonna go do is remove the old processor. Let's zoom in the camera and carefully lift it up like this. And the processor, guys, I'm going to be upgrading is a uh, Intel Core i7 2600. Now you're going to take a uh, Thermal, new thermal compound, if you could just take a new thermal compound, you could just apply right here in the middle if you want to do that. But the way I'm going to, the other way I'm going to do is going to apply right here in the heat sink like this. And you're going to take a, you can take a credit card, debit card you have, and apply it straight, but I'm just going to do it this way. Just like that, it's good enough. And if you want to use the best thermal compound there is, you probably just go with the Arctic Silver 5 they have, or Arctic MX4, or Arctic they have MX2. There's like at the top thermal compound you can buy. So you're gonna connect back the CPU fan cooler back to the motherboard, don't forget.
I make sure to check the each side, make sure they're tight. Okay, we're done. So now to be the last part is uh, we're gonna upgrade the. I want to change the CMOS battery here. To do that, you just take a flathead screwdriver and. I'm gonna zoom out, zoom in the camera, you guys can see better. So you take a flathead screwdriver, probably can't see, it's too dark. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. So you put one here, screwdriver, clip right here, you press like this, battery comes out. And you use the same battery, it's a CR2032. And they usually sell those online, you can go in your, any grocery store, any electronic store, they have it. So yeah, we just replaced the CMOS battery and we're done. Just gonna put the side cover panel back on. So you guys, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.